This is DSN TV, showcasing the ability in disability. Proudly brought to you by the PA people. And welcome back to the Disability Sports Network, showcasing the ability in disability. My name is Tony Telfer and this is the final game of the day, which will kick off in uh, a few minutes' time. And that is a game between, well it's the Battle of Finland because it's between the player and also Old Power, so there you go. And now I'm going to get uh, Troy King in, who will be joining me for this last game. We'll have a chat with uh, Troy about uh, his thoughts in the games thus far. And uh, as I said, if you want to check out the results, you go to the SEGL Facebook page. So if you just go into Facebook and type in SEGL, you'll uh, you'll see it there. So uh, as I said, uh, that's what's going to happen. So hopefully we'll uh, see Troy very shortly and get uh, and get Troy on the line. But there's been some great results. I'm looking forward to this game here. The last game between uh, Hansa and also. Uh, Fifth man, I've got a, th a special thanks to Jenin for coming on and uh, helping us out with and giving us some insight into some of the players there. So, uh, which was which was great. And it's lovely to have uh, listeners, as I said, uh, listeners and viewers. It's great to see and see what sort of uh, coverage we do get. Don't forget that tomorrow morning, of course, your first game is at ten o'clock. Yes, yeah, so we'll then go from uh, ten until we've only got three games tomorrow. So, but as I said, it will be. Interesting, so 10 o'clock, and we think we work it out, it's nine hours different to Australia, so something along those lines at least. And we've got uh, Troy back with us now. Uh, morning, Troy, the early yes. hours of the morning for you. Yes, it is, mate, just before 3am. Oh, there you go, then. You're normally just getting home at this time of the day, aren't you? <laughs> so we're uh, getting ready for the last game, are we? We are, they're just going through, so... The Nepean team, number one is Vili Montanen. Number two is Petri Pozio. Uh, number five, number five is rather. Number six is Marcus Telemachi. And number eight is Mika Honkanen for Old Power. Number five is Mikko Vitala. Number six is Etu Aronen. Number eight is Erki Manala. And number nine is Eason Zibadavi. And of course their coach is Erki Manali along with uh, Axel Sondholm as their assistant uh, coach and uh, escort is Ula now Ola Kanan. I think that's right I think it's Ula Ola Kanan. but yeah so look it's been interesting be interesting to see this game here as I was just saying before it's a battle of Finland because uh, both these sides right. are from Finland so um, so they they know each other inside now. Is that like an A and B A and B side or no no? Uh, when the the national side um, has got Berkey in it, and I think Etu. Um, let me have a look and see if I know off the top of my head. Okay, there's Erky, Etu Ronan, and uh, they're from Old Power, and from. There's Petri Pozio from the Paya, Marcus Telemahi and Mika Honkinen are all in. So on paper, the stronger side is probably Napaya. Um, but I am leaning towards Old Power, I think. Uh, they might uh, surprise here. Just depends. See, see how we go. The, like, uh, as, you, uh, as we were saying last game with Old Power, it was... Um, some gaps there that weren't exploited, so we'll see where they, they are this time. Yeah, I think one of the keys is to Troy that they really want to, uh, each side, they really want to get over the top of the other one, don't they? I mean, it, it's like anything, you know, when you get into this situation here, you want to get the, uh, you want to get it over your counterpart. It's like New South Wales playing Victoria, isn't it? It doesn't matter what sport it is, you want to get the, get everything over <coughs> them. Yeah, it could no, be tiddly very much. What on earth was that? That's right, just my iPad just telling me it's charged. Okay, that's, that's all. all right <laughs> I'm lucky there's a net there, otherwise we would have caught about eight balls. <laughs> it's, uh, and it's actually, uh, who have we got warming up there? I think it's, it's Marcus, Marcus Talamahi. 
Yes. And uh, just for the listeners, Tony, at, uh, in the halftime break, uh, are you able to go through the scores for, from today? Since this is mm. the last match? Probably, yes. I'll have to scroll through because I've got them all up on the uh, on the SEG or Facebook page. Okay, great. I haven't got them all written down. Like, primarily because I'd run out of hands <laughs> at the moment. So. But uh, no, we will go through, and they will, will, will be put up there as well. So, uh, Well, actually, what I can do, if you like, I can start going through some now because they're, they're still getting their warm ups, and we've got about another seven minutes. So okay. Let me. Uh, and Bring do you know if up. any of the scores are being put up on any Facebook pages? Yeah, or? I'm putting them up on the Super European Goalball Facebook page, which is the SEGL Facebook page. Okay. So now, halftime was 8-7. That was the last game. And why am I not getting... There we go. I've got to go further and further back through all of these posts here. So just bear with me while I get back to the start, and then I can scroll down. Okay, so in the first game, it was between uh, Sporting de Club against Napaya. At halftime, it was 5-2 to Sporting uh, over Napaya. And the full-time score in that game was Napaya 13, Sporting 7. We then... <coughs> the next game was between Old Power and Hansa. At halftime, it was 6-3 in favour of Hansa. And at full time, it was Old Power 10, Hansa 12. Whoo! High scoring game! Yeah, very much so. The next game at half time was between, this is between 5th Melmo and Sporting, De Clue. It was 4 all at half time. The full time score in that game, as I said, did I write it down? Yes, I did. It was 5th Melmo, who finished up on, il uh, my screen's playing up, 11 4 victors. The next game was between Napaya and RGC Hansa. At half time, it was 7 6 in favour of uh, Napaya. And at full time, in that game, it was Napaya 10, Hansa 10. And the next game was between. Old Power taking on Sporting De Clue. It was 6-2 in favour of Old Power at half time. And the full time score was a 12-2 victory to Old Power. And that was around about five minutes remaining in the game. The last game I think that we've just seen was between uh, Fifth Malmo taking on RGC Hansa. At half time it was 8-7 to. Oh, hang on, what have I done here? Yeah, 8-7 to 5th Malmo over Hansa. And the full-time score was 5th Malmo 12, RG Hansa, RGC Hansa 12. So, mm. so that's everything that's everything up to date. And if you want to see those scores, if you go to, you just go to the Facebook and type in Super Europe or SEGL, you will find the, their uh, page there. And, that's and uh, how long we got, Tony? We've probably got about four or five minutes, maybe, still. Excuse me, sorry, I just got caught in the middle of a sneeze. Just about four minutes to go until the no game was up. Now, I can let you know that Napaya are in the foreground. So Napaya at this end, and they are starting with Billy Montanen. And I'm going to have to stand up. I didn't think, I thought I could get away with standing, with sitting down, but I can't. I said it's hard work standing up all the time. And so you're going, you're going old power, are you? I'm going old power, yes. And the old power. I'm going to go, I'm, I'm, I'm go the opposite. You're going to go Napaya. Okay. Yeah, so. just just on the targets we saw last one time that w that weren't yep. used. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be Marcus Talamahi. It's going to be Mika Honkinen. And Billy Montanen for Napaya. Is it Marcus or is that. Uh... No, it's not. It's East. Uh... Um, number five, which is uh, Petri Pozio. And for the 
we have number eight on the right wing, the left wing down there, which of course is Erki Manala, along with uh, Eason Zabadavi. In the centre, number nine, and I can't see the other person at number at present. I can tell you that uh, Napier is starting with the ball. Now this is interesting, Troy, because of course in this game, this tournament here, they have no tosses. The ta team on the left of the table start with the ball. Okay, that's different. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure whether I'm a fan of it. In um, fact, I know I'm not a fan of it, to be perfectly honest. I and, think that and for our people that are watching, um, the on the camera it looks actually like the same uh, shirts at either end. Yeah, so they're it's really similar. Hard to tell the difference. They're similar. Yes. The, the only difference with the Nepean shirts is that when they turn around and, and the front on, they've actually got a, a different uh, symbol on their on yeah, shirts so, at the front. So I'm guessing then on that Nepea is closest to the camera. Yes, Nepea are closest to the camera, yes. Right. Indeed. So we'll just bring that picture up for myself so I can see it from here. And they're facing waiting to get... Uh, they're actually getting their patches done at present. So we've got Petra Pozio. We've also got uh, Billy Montanen and uh, Mika Honkinen. And at the far end we have uh, uh, five, which is Ichiwaron, and I think. Let me just double check and see. On here. So uh, we have. Uh, no, it's uh, Miko Vitala, I should say. And uh, ET must be starting on the bench because Erkin Manala is there and so is Eason Zibadami. So now that's an interesting tell starting me, lineup. Tell me, Tony, for the old power, how many players have they got? They've got four. I can count four. Yep, they've got four players. Okay. And the payer have one, two, three, four as well. So they both only got one substitution. For old power, it is uh, uh, Ito Aronin, and for it's a fourth play, and uh, Petri Pozio for the payer. So, yeah, so they're uh, starting with uh, Eason Zabadabi in the centre. And so, and just to let our listeners know too, so that people are aware that as soon as this game is over, I'll almost be closing down immediately, because I have to get out of the venue, obviously, and get the bus back to the accommodation, and I'll be uploading uh, videos if, uh, just for Sean's sake uh, later on tonight. Although I don't really need to, you can take them out of the drop box. Here we go. Back but to the but we'll be um, back first thing in the morning. Yes, we will indeed. Montanen, bouncing ball, cross court ball, blocked on this occasion. Passed across now to. Now, just have a look to see who that is. At, uh, Vitala's, at, uh, Vitala's on the left wing, and Erki is actually on the right wing. Now, he hasn't been playing right wing, he's been playing left wing so far in this tournament. Ball now with Nico Vitala. Bouncing ball, aiming for that gap, didn't quite get through on this occasion. Ooh, struggling to find the ball there was Pozio, and as such it was a not a great throw by him. Ball now, in the hands of Manalas, goes across through the legs on that occasion. Picked up and thrown by uh, Pozio across to Villa Montanen. Montanen now with the ball, as in bouncing ball. He really noticed, Troy, that everybody wants to bounce the ball here. And most of the time if you get a good flat ball like that one, it'll go straight through the gap and uh, was overdived there by Honkinen with a good fast flat ball through the uh, BC area. Ball now. With uh, Petru Pozio throwing that ball. And that was all, could have almost been a, uh, a noise then. You'll have a look when it comes up, Troy. I'm not sure how far behind you are, but it's a nice flat ball. Thrown by Vontanen. Blocked by... I'm up to the thir third throw of the game and the first three throws have gone to B. Yep. And there's a lot more that have gone there since then too. And it obviously depends on where you are around the world because when we had Jenin on before in the last game he was actually only about to 10 seconds behind. So... Yeah, but then again he's only in Sweden. There's a cross-court ball which is blocked by Montanen. Montanen now goes down the line with a quick ball. On this occasion, picked up and straight through again into the back of the net. 
Honkinen is looking out of sorts at the moment. He's looking out of sorts, Mika Honkinen. So 2 0 in favour of Roll Power. And that was a goal by Manala. Um, and where'd that go through? Uh, through the BC. Which is the exact same spot it was for the first goal, because as that correct. went through, the first goal on my roof, they went through. Oh, there you go then. And that's what I was saying about a flat ball point. It makes a huge difference, doesn't it? Mm. Okay, time out for Napoleon. Early in the game, very early time oh. out. It is. And on the first throw, because uh, it's fresh with me, the centre didn't uh, die quick enough. It went past his ankles, basically, as he was coming across. Yeah, and that's the same issue that we've got uh, in pretty much with the second one, although he did get something on the second one, I think. I'm trying to remember. But, um, certainly was close to it. So. But uh, as the timeout's still going, it. From what I've seen over the couple of uh, early throws, that gap in AB is still there for the old power. Oh, it's, it is, yep. But having said that, Urquimino is now playing on the uh, on the right wing. So he covers a lot more. Um, okay. Yep. Ball now with... Uh, oh, straight through a bouncing ball. Uh, immediately after a timeout, Petri Pozio scores through the uh, BC area. An angle coming in from C towards B. So 2 1, bouncing ball into the centre. This time Honkinen gets there, picks it up cleanly, lays it off to Posio. Posio now with the ball. Comes in. Just goes aiming for the same spot again. This time Batala gets across. Batala gets across and picks it up. Going around. Goes back with the gap, aiming into Posio. Posio flops it nicely. Pass across to court to Montanen. Philly Montanen comes in now. Cross court ball, aiming for that post, but blocked by, well, not blocked out, blocked by the goal to the ball. Went past the seat post. You know, looks like he's come across the tape. Yes, he has. He's gone a hard fast ball, but uh, out of court. And the goal judge didn't get in the way of that, and I don't blame her because I wouldn't have either. Montanen. Positive goes across court now to where Montanen is. In. But again, hit into the centre. I'm just having a look to see whether there's been a change there. Whether Manala's gone into the centre. It looks like he might have. I'll just stand up for the look. Unfortunately I can't see when I'm when I'm sitting down, which makes it very difficult. Bouncing ball. Well blocked there by Honkinen. Lays it off now to Posio. Petri Posio with the ball. Goes across court. No, it is still the Eastern Zabadavi in the centre, throwing the ball now. Flat ball, but picked up by Montan and going for the quick return. Flat ball again, fracture ball, goes forward, picked up by Vitala. Vitala on the right wing. Discus bouncing ball, but straight into Montan and Billy Montan and passes it across to Petri Pozio. Pozio now with the ball. Goes with the discus throw, goes down the line. But Tyler is there and blocks the ball wide on this occasion. He's now bouncing ball, aiming for Posio. It doesn't get past him on this occasion. Posio now lays the ball off to Honkin and throws him just right of centre. Aiming for that C post once again. This time Vitala is there and it's a line out call. Ball dropped back into play. Manala's gone across to take this from the left hand post. He's been discussed, having to get past uh, Petra Pozio, but he looks in very solid at the moment on this uh, right wing for Napaya. Napaya in the foreground, old power in the, the um, well not the background, but at the far end of the screen as you're looking at it. The ball now with Vitala. Bouncing ball, has it got through this time? No, not at all. Mont Hont Honkinen does the chasing, passes to Montanen. Philly Montanen comes in now. Cross court. There's a fracture from Eastern Zabadavi, but uh, blocked in the end. So there's been a few fractures, but they should know each other's games here. Matala with a nice flat ball straight off the feet of uh, Montanen, straight into the back of the net. It actually should have been Honkinen's ball in the centre. He should have got to that. So the score, Tony, is? 3 1 in favour. 4 3 2. As a quick response there by Petri Posio. And that's the thing, you've got to block out that next shot after you score. 
Mm. I thought it actually old power was up more than that. No, I don't think so. Unfortunately, I haven't got a scoreboard. Here, you can't always hear when a goal is scored. The referees say it, but unfortunately, you don't always hear the score. So I've got to try and <laughs> listen for it. So, Watson goes across court with a bouncing ball and well out. Drop back into play now. Patala goes across, taking a lot of throws. Berkey Manala goes across, but into Monten and Honkinen picks the ball up. Very confusing. We've got a Montanen and a Honkinen on the same team. Tell me, has there been any 10-second uh, time? There has been a couple, actually, yes. A couple of 10 seconds, I submit, so a couple of noise penalties. Most of long and high balls. There's a cross-court ball there by Pozio. But Vitala is there. Right about uh, three minutes from the sideline, left-hand side, and oh, straight across. Honkin went across. Pozio didn't dive into the back of the net. Now the score is 4-2, I think they said. I will endeavour to try and hear the score at half-time, so, because I've got to put that on my little notes. But they will be a yet paid. They will update everything. I'm sure they'll give all the scores at the end of the day. On uh, there, it was almost a long ball from Eason's Spadavi, but wasn't picked up by Monten and Monten and bouncing ball back, but easily picked off there. Lost the handle on it though, Spadavi passes back now to Vitala. Okay, Vitala into the centre. Honkin and Sarah on this occasion picks it up, passes it across to his right to Pozio. Petri Pozio now with the ball, about two metres in, goes with a big cross court ball and misses the post. This is the final game of day one. So we've got three games tomorrow. But we'll go through those when I'm on air tomorrow morning. There's a nice ball thrown down the line by Vitala, blocked by Montanen. Billy Montanen, three metres in from the left-hand sideline, goes across court, trying to drag Ethan Zivadavi there, but uh, Vitala is there and blocks it nicely. So Mika Vitala. And that... Sorry, Troy. And those, and those three games tomorrow, they're not uh, finals or bronze medal matches or anything, they're just the, no. series around Robins? That's correct, uh, because there's still a leg to go. There's still a leg of this tournament to go in Sweden. It's up and over the top, but doesn't bounce the right way for old power. And even with the leg to go, I don't think they go into uh, a final series, do they, Tony? They no. just do a table? It's all just done on tables, that's correct. So... That's the situation, they do it, it's all just done on points that you've earned throughout the tournament. So to win it, you pay to go to all of the tournaments. Although having said that, uh, Sultanus, uh, last year, went to two of them and still won enough points to win it. So, but then in the Sultanus side is basically the entire Lithuanian side, who of course won the gold medal at the Paralympics this year. I'm going to put you on the spot, mate, do you, do you know the table? Um, probably. <laughs> and it's into the back of the net again. Off there, I'm actually, as we speak, Troy. Mm -hmm. I'm actually looking for it. Very good. Okay, so let me just have a look and see. I do know that we did have it here. I do know that Old Power are currently leading it. That's something I can tell you at this stage. Now let me just try and see whether we've got uh, anything here. I've got the times there. I've got everything in my little black book, but uh, at the moment it's a case of trying to to find it. Okay, that's a list of teams again, so maybe I don't have it in here. But if people go to the Super European Goalball League page, SEGL page, They'll actually be able to see it on there. Because it is actually up there. And uh, I won't have it, but I will have it in the morning. So, there you go. Listeners, I'll give you something to look forward to. I will have the standings at the moment in the morning. So, I will get them for you tonight. Thanks for that, Troy. Cross court That's ball. Right. Honkin and Honkin and defence. Pays it off now to Pozio Petri. Pozio now with the ball. On the right wing, goes across court into Manala. Manala picks it up. Thought about going for a quick throw, then finished the passing across to Vitala. Vitala 
aiming but nicely covered up there by Pozio passes it across to his left to Montanen. Billy Montanen now with the ball. Comes in, it's a flat ball into the centre block by Zabadavi. Oh, high ball, long way too. Thrown by Zabadavi. Got himself caught out of position there. Now, with him throwing, it's going to be Montanen who's going to take the throw, however. Where is it? No, I don't think it, yes it is. He sends Zabadavi to defend. Montanen goes across court. And the ball is thrown out. Well, it's a wasted penalty. He should have gone down the line. You go with what works for you. And uh, to me, it's uh, down the line. Ball on this occasion. Anyway, straight back into Honkinen. Lays it off now to Montanen. And yes, folks, it is Honkinen and Montanen. I'm not getting them confused. So, ball now. With the... Vitala goes across the other side of the court into Montanen. Substitution. So Marcus Tolomaki is coming in and going out is Petri Pozion. So it's being a bit more power and interesting, but he is suspect on his uh, hand side. Uh, he's uh, Tolomaki. So it uh, will be interesting to see what happens. You're listening to DSN's coverage live and exclusive coverage of the 2016-17 Super European Goalball League Stage 2 from Espoo in Finland. And a huge thank you to Old Power and of course to our sponsors, the PA people. Look Tony, just on that uh, high ball that you uh, were commenting on before, he went across court, he went from one post to the other and it only just went out so it wasn't a bad throw. Um, but yeah, percentage-wise, you go down the line, but uh, a cross-court wasn't look, that bad of option. No, but you, you've got to make sure at least you keep the ball in play. Don't throw it out. If they're going to push it out, that's fine. It's Telemarki. Throws straight into the centre, though. Block by Zubadavi lays it up to Manala, who goes around the centre. He's on the left-hand side of the centre. Goes for Telemarki down the line and just misses the post. Telemarki was slow to react. Look at Telemarki now. Throws the ball across to Montanen. Billy Montan in the round, but three metres in from the sideline, bouncing ball, dived across nicely there by uh, Zibadavi, ball now in the hands of Vitala, Vitala, Marcus Tolomahi is looking a little bit out of sorts on this wing, but still managing to stop the ball, there's a nice throw by him now into the AB area, doesn't, uh, BC area, doesn't get through, time out, old power, there was a double whistle, but uh, Is it a timeout that we're cool? Because uh, if it was, then uh, nobody's uh, from the pair coming onto the court. So obviously, well, it is a timeout. The referees are in the centre watching each side. But nobody bothered to come on from the Napayan bench. Obviously, maybe a bit too far to walk. Maybe the call wasn't good enough for them to hear. No. Well, that could have been it too. Anyway, let's have a look and see. Old Power with the ball. Down the line, straight into the net. Straight, beat Telemachy down the line. Fantastic ball there by uh, Vitala. Uh, Manala. Oh, Matala, Manala, Vitala. Honkin and Mon Montanen. No wonder I get confused. The <laughs> next ball thrown by Honkanen into the centre block by Zibadavi. Lays the ball off now to Erki Manala, who just misses again. And uh, they've got to continue to target Marcus Talamahi. That's where they need to hit all the time. So, picked up there by. Erki Manala and throws across from the other side of the court into Talamahi this time. Doesn't control it, should have controlled it in that situation. Talamahi into the centre, into Zibadavi. Substitution. So Itu Aronin is coming in and going out is Miko Patala, which makes it easy for me as a, uh, as a broadcaster. <laughs> I'm getting so much tongue tied. Uh, so, um, Tony, what would you be your plan of attack here? 
Um, well, for old power, you've just got to target Marcus Talamahi. And what they need to do is um, keep the ball away from Manala, make Urki Manala go and chase the ball. Whatever side he's on, make him chase the ball. Okay, this one they've gone for Talamahi again. This time he gets body behind the ball and manages to get the ball out of the net. Cross court discus and misses the court and out. <coughs> Excuse me, folks, but uh, I think uh, he's got the right right idea going across to the other side of the court and going straight down the line. I think that's the weakness at the moment. The ball nearly comes crashing into the table. Now half time. I thought it might have been a high ball. No, I didn't get a score, and this is the frustrating thing. So not getting a score at the moment. Um, I couldn't hear what the score was said. So what I might do is I might just turn my mic off. Actually, is this a penalty situation? No, it's not. Let me just turn my microphone off. I'll just hand it to you for a minute, Troy, and see whether I can get a uh, get a score from. I'll yell out to the boys from Old Power. No worries. Well, we've got uh, three games tomorrow. Uh, I think the first game starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm just trying to find the schedule on my program. Here we go. Here it is, Tony Sam Jimmy. Uh, that will give us an idea of when the games are being played and that type of stuff. And I just uh, open this attachment. And I've opened the wrong one. Of course I did. Sorry, listeners. It did air for us, but... Uh, okay, I've got a here. score update for you. It's 6-2 yep. and a half. I'll power, okay, but I'll leave it with you two. because I'll now just type this in. So give me a couple of minutes no, and... Uh, that's, that's fine. Okay, so the games tomorrow, we've got... This is Finland time. We've got uh, uh, Malmo playing uh, Nepea. Uh, that's at 10 o'clock, uh, Finland time. 11.15, we've got uh, Hansa versus Sporting. And then at 12.45, uh, Malmo versus uh, Span Bar Spans. So, yeah, there are the three games tomorrow. We've only got three games tomorrow on Sunday, the 11th of December, the SGL. So, yes, um... Interesting, uh, second last leg uh, as it goes in. And if you want to um, get any uh, score updates, uh, they'll be on uh, the SGL uh, Facebook page, and DSN will be doing them live, uh, the broadcasting. So stay tuned for that. So, look, um, an interesting scoreline. I think I'll run away, run away with it now. I think it, uh, it'll be. A, a, I think we're going on mercy. I'm going to guess. So you've backed another losing horse. Is that what you're telling me? Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> uh, look, I think that uh, I think it'll be a mercy within probably four minutes. No, there you go. Now, Troy, I've got a question for you. I want you to say uh -huh. who's in the last uh, the last game tomorrow again. Okay, I'm going to go back to my schedule. That's all power and fifth, Malmo. No, I just wanted you to find out because I just didn't know how you say it. That was all. It was just interesting. No, so, <laughs> so good on you. Thanks Malmo. very much. So it's going to be uh, old power who are leading 6-2, and they will start with the ball. And they've got still uh, Espy, and Miko's come back on. And... So, for Nepea, interesting move that. They've taken off Billy Montanen for Nepea, which to me is a strange move. And they brought in Pozio. Pozio and uh, Montanen. There's a ball thrown down the line. Going for Line out. That should have almost been a noise penalty, I think. There was a lot of running from all players. And... and Sorry, Tony, the score was which way? 6 2 2 Old Power. Mm. So 6 2 2 That's Old right. Power at the half. Yeah. Waiting for the ball to be dropped back in. It's down at the far end because it was a ball over. Um, oh, my guess 13 3 Old Power. 13 3? Okay. 
but I think it'll go to full time actually and I expect the pay to come back Atala goes down the line of course being sort of back in at the half time and Marcus Telemarki being taken out oh, sorry not uh, Marcus Telemarki it uh, was um, the sixth oh, so they're all running together these names are at this stage of the day uh, the old power number six was in fact Ituaronen is out and Montanu's out for Napaya and Pozio is in. You say at this stage of the day, well, it's only early, it's only 3.30 in the morning. Yes, well, there you go. It might be for you, for me. It's uh, <laughs> early, but it's been, uh, as I said, after work. And the, the funny thing is, when you come away to as you know, places like this, you, your clock goes all out. I couldn't sleep, I was up, but I was actually speaking to, to the lovely Sarah at about uh, 4 o'clock this morning. Uh, especially with the travelling, because you've got to fly to London, then on to Finland. Yeah, that's right. So, so, yeah. Has we've got a penalty? And it is to be defended by... Uh, I think it's... Uh, it's Morana, actually. Oh, sorry, Posio. Down the line goes... Uh, goes Espy. Otherwise known as Eason Zibadabi, but uh, he's known here as Espy. No, Troy, I didn't say Esky, I said Espy. <laughs> and of course, don't forget, uh, I'll give it a plug in a moment, but we've got uh, Napay with the ball now going across court into the centre. Blocked by Espy, lays the ball off now to Vitala. Vitala goes there, blocked by Honkinen on this occasion. Honkinen now lays it off to. Uh, Telemarki Telemarki blocked, lays it across now to Manala Erky Manala there's the uh, discus throw which you get so much power out of the balls up and it's going to drop wide but of course uh, this Saturday or Saturday, not this Saturday but well, it is this Saturday because it's Sunday morning over there the 17th um, the DSN end of the year Christmas party will be on. We're playing interviews. We'll be broadcasting throughout the day uh, from around about uh, probably well, the two to five or thereabouts. I think they only, only mm -hmm. need three hours of us, mm -hmm. and it'll be from Telford Mansion. And uh, in some way, shape, or form, hopefully, all your favourites will be there. So. I'll uh, I'll be there for some of it, not all of it, but I'll be there for some of it. Early or late? Early. I'll be there early. I have to leave early. Oh, well, there you go. Huh? I, I, I've, uh, my young fellas has a birthday uh, party that, uh, that evening. Oh, well, there you go. Fair enough, too. Of course, Isaac's turning 27. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Every year, out in his ear. <laughs> the now in the hands of Vitala. Nico okay, Vitala with the ball now comes in there. Bouncing ball goes down the line, but blocked on this occasion by Telemar. He sends the ball back into the centre block by Eason Zibadava. He's had a good game, uh, SB, in this game here. The Taylor bouncing ball into the centre, into the A post, blocked by Telemar. He passes it across to Posio. Mitchell Posio with the ball now. Goes down the line, but easily blocked by Manala. So he's playing on the right wing here. A versatile player. Comes in now, gets himself set for the discus. It's a hard flat ball. Doesn't get through the defence on this occasion. Oh, Posio. The forward takes the ball now, sets himself. But Honkinen's going to throw it almost from a standing start and into the back of the net. It's lazy defence there. And partly by the centre, but also partly by, um, by Vitalo. They just seemed to take it too easy. It was a nothing ball. Anyway, Vitaly with the ball now, so the score is now 6-3. There's a cross-court ball. They've only got to score another seven goals, and Troy will pick the score. <laughs> That's a ball on this occasion. Long ball is being called, so there's a chance here. Nobody's going to get the ball yet. Do you think it was long time? Um, it's hard to tell because it was from the other end. It's no worse than some of the others I have haven't seen called. Let me put it that way. Mm 
Let's put the ball in the bag. I know I harp on about it all the time, but there's nothing worse than watching a player just stand there, and not even make it effort. What, wait until you see what happens, uh, Troy. And, mm -hmm. and then he just stood there. So, bouncing ball, blocked by Manala. Erky Manala now on the right wing side. The score is now seven goals to three. And Erky missed the court by about 800 yards. <laughs> Similar to your throwing. But pretty much, yeah. Went, went right off to the right hand side straight away. Ball blocked there by Miko Vitala. Goes for the quick throw and thought about it. Runs around behind the uh, centre player, of course, in Espy. Eason's a bit heavy into the back of the net, off the hands, up over the top of Vitala. Score is now 7 4. Oh, 4 8. 8 4, sorry, I do apologise. So I heard the score that time. And it uh, looks like, is it a. Timeout being called? It looks like it is. Yes, timeout being called for Nepal as uh, Erky has a swig of his scotch, uh, uh, water. <laughs> and it's, uh, uh, but, uh, look, seriously, we must thank Old Power. Um, without them, we'd probably be able to do a feed, but it wouldn't be as good as what this feed here is today. So a huge thank you to, to Old Power, the club, for putting money into DSN so we were able to come over to broadcast this tournament. Uh, not only did they put money in, but they also paid for the accommodation and for the meals here, so which is a huge thank you to them. So uh, Erky and all the, the staff there, Erky and Axel, um, really is much appreciated. So that's all you've got to do. Yeah, chuck in, well, I know they won't mind me saying it, they've chucked in a thousand euros to, to get us over here as well as accommodation. And people do that, Troy, we don't mind coming up with a little bit of the money, but it's hard when we've got to come up with the entire amount. Oh, absolutely. So. There's a hard flat ball and it's kicked up and over. And, well, it missed the basketball ring by about four. A foot and a half. There's basketball rings on each side of the court, and it almost went through a basketball ring. And it was off the feet there of Espy. It's a cross court ball into Manala. Picks it up nicely. Erika Manala comes in, number eight. Oh, high ball? No, not called. It's been close, but not called on that occasion. Mind you, I think he's. Uh, Sometimes gets harshly treated with his high balls. So I think he got one back then. Vitala. Manala. Vitala has a ball. Goes to show it. Doesn't get it through on this occasion. Next ball's been blocked by Espy. Espy goes with a quick return. This time uh, Pozio loses a handle. Gets the ball back now. Goes for Manala. Manala picks it up cleanly in his feet. Goes with a discus ball. Flat ball. Oh. Cut across and... Luckily, it actually went into Telemahi because it beat everybody else. As it's a timeout for Napaya. Troy. Uh, yeah, it, um, yeah, look, I think the centre for old power has got a lot better with his feet. Uh, I still think there's a gap there. But, uh, yeah. Where would you be targeting, Tony? Oh, look, I'd be... For the old power side, I'd be making Espy work in the centre, drag him one way, keep him drag going one way, be it left or right, for a certain amount of time and then go the other way and get him to go the other way. I think he tends to fall into patterns of where he's going to defend. He doesn't yeah. uh, doesn't put any other option in there. So, and But the, uh, the, game, the game is all locked up by now. It would be only a couple of minutes to go, I'm guessing, Tony. Yeah, look, I'm not sure we don't have a clock, as I said, unfortunately. I think it's probably about halfway through the half, so... And to be honest, it looks like the, a lot of them are going through the motions now. Vitala passes across to Manala. Manala's going to throw from the left wing. Runs out. Bouncing ball. Went to hook it across. This time picked up by Honkin and goes with a quick return. Espy's there. Picks it up nicely. Going to take the throw himself from the centre. Now, <laughs> I heard somebody say high ball, but it certainly wasn't a referee. <laughs> so, 
Telemahi goes down the line, blocked by Vitala. Goes with a discus throw. I mean, for that gap, it's up and over into the back of the net. Well done by Miko Vitala. I can't bag him anymore, so he scored another goal. The score is now 9 4 in favour of Old Power. Oh, Old Power dropping the first game today. I think it was 12 uh, 10 by memory. Manala comes across right behind. Uh, is a ball, flat ball, oh, and Telemachy just got down onto it. That's who they've got to target, old, um, old Power needs to target. Marcus Telemachy on the right wing, by oh, the left wing, the right wing, but he's on the left as they're looking at it, if that makes sense, and it's a long ball. Now, going for another shot, so I'll be interested to see whether he actually moves this time and dives. The last time he didn't, didn't dive at all. And if he'd have laid down... Another goal, but if he'd have laid down, then Marcus Telemachy had that ball covered. You have a look when it comes up, Troy, and see how close he actually was to the ball. All he had to do was drop, and he had the ball covered. But once sure. again, he didn't dive. And look, as a coach and as a player, you want at least the effort. I don't care if somebody misses the ball if you're a player or you're a coach watching, but for people who don't even go down and make an effort, it's like, well, just, why don't you just get the ball and throw it into the back of the net for the opposition? Seriously. <laughs> you know, it just, to me, it doesn't make sense. Now, it is a, 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 an equipment check, I think it was, but anyway. Look at a flat ball blocked by Vitala, Manala. Manala now runs around behind Espy, bouncing ball through the gap. Has it got through? No, it hasn't, not on this occasion. Between Honkinen and also um, Pozio, they defend the ball. Ball blocked by. Essence of Adavi lays off to Miko Vitala. Oh, it just blocked out. Scrambling the fence by Marcus Telemahi. Now, this is where I say you'd certainly be uh, getting and targeting him. His hands look weak. And even normally, if your hands go into the, the post side, you think they're the strong side. But it's certainly not at this case at the moment. Ball now. In the hands, there's a great ball, but nicely defended by Eason Zabadabi. Five out, six in. So, Etu Aronin's coming in for Miko Vitala, and uh, they're in a strong situation here, leading 10 4, uh, if my memory serves. And just a reminder, little listeners, that uh, as soon as that uh, this game's over, we'll be packing up for the night because uh, we'll have to be out of the venue. So, uh, but we'll be back on deck tomorrow, Finland time, 10 a.m. for the first match. Yeah, certainly will. <laughs> and you'll probably be in bed before I get outside. Uh, probably. Fair enough, so it's all around and comes in. Manala's gone across to the left wing now. Aronin is on the right wing, and uh, Eason Zabadavi is still in the centre. All passed across now to. Petri Pozio, who's on the left wing for Napaya. This ball pushed wide on this occasion by Etu Aronin. So Etu now with the ball. Sits himself now. Bouncing ball. Hasn't quite scored. I thought they'd got through the defences there, but not quite. Nicely defended. And again, targeting him. The ball runs wide and runs out. Off Aronin once more. I'm sure that uh, just doesn't look like him at the moment, but I'm sure it is. So I'll just double check on my little list here. Yes, Etu, Etu Aronin, so it is. Or Aronin, if you prefer. The ball now in the hands of Telemahi. He's going across. I'll take this, goes down the line. Blocked by Etu. Or Etu. Again, Aronin now with the ball on the right wing. Just down the line, they're targeting the wrong side. They need to target the left-hand side of the court. Keep the ball up and target Telemachy's hands. It's a bouncing ball, easily blocked up there by Etelwaro. Passes it across to Espy. Espy comes in now. Oh, and throws a wild ball. And uh, went out very early on in the... Uh, <coughs> So, now, I'm just waiting, uh, was that an air ball? 
I thought it was a penalty in that situation, but I thought it was a penalty, I mean, not in that situation, but it certainly wasn't a run in there with the ball goes down the line. This time blocked and it will be a ball over. No, it's been caught. If it went over the sideline. Very agile there. Well, again, they're targeting a Ronan, but the ball doesn't look like getting in past a Ronan. The ball now in the hands of Erki Manala. Manala comes in, discus throw. The ball crashes into the post. Time out for Napaya with the score 10 4. Look, uh, our power always start really well. Uh, the power isn't there, but uh, they don't chase well. No. So the pair, it shouldn't be this far apart. Uh, there's three Finnish players in the Nepean side. Well, from the front of Paralympics this year with um, Honkanen, Telemahi, and Pozio, Petri Pozio, they're all in the side. But speaking to, as I said, speaking to Worky about uh, a Finnish performance at Paralympics, they were disappointed. They were in a tough pool, granted, but they certainly should have done better than what they did, I think. Ball bounces, but into Manala, of course, who's certainly in the uh, the Finnish team. Goes in now. Flat ball down the line, straight into the back of the net. Goal, 11-4. So 11-4 is the score. Sorry. Line. Sorry, it's See, it must be it must be hard for the coaches as well, not having a scoreboard, not knowing how much time is left in the clock. Yeah, look, certainly, I think so. I mean, it's it's frustrating. Uh, it's frustrating for me. I must admit, because uh, that, that would go towards their game strategy, knowing how much is left in the clock and what to do and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, so make it hard for them. Yeah, it certainly would. Manala goes down the line on this occasion, this time it's blocked by Petri Pozio. Pozio with the ball now. The far end, the bouncing ball into Etu Aronin. Defends the ball along with uh, Eastern Sabadavi. Cross court ball on this occasion by Aronin. Misses the post but not play a lot. And just sort of pushed wide by Talamahi. And a timeout has been called. So, not sure about the time remaining, but just to let everybody know that once this game has been completed, uh, we will be shutting down uh, because uh, we've got to pack up and I've got to pack my, obviously my bag and everything else up with my computer or, and uh, go back home and do some more work to uh, upload it for uh, the tech guy. So, lots of videos to upload and I'll uh, just to let you know as well too I'll be making a separate folder for SEGL 2016 fair enough and putting them in there so. so long ball has been called yeah, long ball has been called on Petri Posio Eastern Zabadavi and oh great work so defended on that occasion so the score remains 11-4 and that's the difference when people have a go at defending penalties great ball there that ball. Manala the score is now 12-4 so will they get to the knockout stage? We already have one in Mercy in this today. Long ball. It's this is going to make it a bit easier now. Telemachy throws a long ball. And Etu Aronin's going to take the throw. So this is going to be the interesting one. Is he going to score? The answer would be yes, he is. So the score is now 13-4. And that'll be a nice little uh, thing, a badge for uh, old power over them. Yeah, um, certainly. Getting mercy. Yeah, certainly will be. Goes to Manala. Is this the last row of the game coming up? 
not quite. Fumbled by Tamamahi, picked now by Ronan. Passes it to Espy. This becomes a bouncing ball. Goal, and that will be game. So. Uh, missed it by one goal. Yep, you did. So, just letting everybody know now, thank you for your company today. The results will be up in the SEGL Facebook page. And, uh, Troy, thank you very much for your time. And thank you to Jenin, who came on as well. But, uh, on behalf uh, of... Did you, want me, did you, do you want me to run through this course while you're saving the file, Tony? Uh, no, I'll on... do it when I get home. Okay. Because I've got about no uh, 15 minutes to pack up and get on the bus. <laughs> okay, no worries. So... Otherwise, okay, I'll be we'll walking. See, we'll see you tomorrow, listeners. All right. Thank you very much once again to everybody. And, yeah, enjoy yourselves. And we'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye. This is DSN TV, showcasing the ability in disability. Proudly brought to you by the PA people.